Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is that you're joining me for this video. Thanks once again for clicking on the Penboy Roy Fountain Pen Review channel. This unboxing is a very exciting one for me. I was waiting all day for this to come, tracking it incessantly every five minutes, every one minute. Anyway, it's the Parker 51 Fountain Pen, the newly released one, provided to me on loan by Goldspot Pens. Make sure you check them out for all your pen needs, goldspot.com. Let's move this off to the side. Thank you for the bookmark, guys. We're gonna do an unboxing. Now, this is not a fully extensive thorough review. This is just gonna be the unboxing. So if you want a writing sample and you wanna break down the parts and all that stuff that I do, the good, the bad, the ugly, and high noon and whatnot, you're gonna have to wait for the review. But let's start with the box. It's just a plain white box. No bells, no whistles. There's no printing, much printing rather, on the box except for the side that just tells you it's made in France and the parent company, Newell. Rubbermaid, UK Limited, and all that stuff. You got some stickers on the side, and this is probably just for the retailers and whatnot. There you go. And we're gonna open it up. I'm real excited, because I'm opening this up for the first time. Well, that was tough. We're all doing it together. And we're gonna put off that white box to the side. And we have our Parker box. Feels pretty sturdy, pretty hard. I like it. It's a very dark green, I wanna say. Parker logo, and we're gonna open it up. It's a clamshell box, it opens up just like so. Here we go, on the inside, check that out, we have our Parker 51. Not a lot of bells and whistles, I gotta say. There's no booklet or anything like that. So we have our Parker 51, it looks like it's a screw cap. The cap comes off in approximately one and a quarter turns. There you go, the cap is made of some solid steel. Has a matte finish, you got your clip, your top finial there, pointed finial, center band that just says Parker, and France, country of manufacture. Then you got your hooded nib, you got your feed, and let's see, we got the barrel. This is a cartridge converter. Ah, oh, no, there's no converter. It does not come with a converter. No, pet peeve of mine. Huge pet peeve. All right, let's put this off to the side. It might have a converter inside the box under the bedding in the secret compartment. Let's see. Does it have a converter? Oh, no. Why? Why? It just comes with one ink cartridge. These ink cartridges are not international standard size. They are proprietary. Just be advised about that. I'm a little disappointed. A couple of things. I'm not going to go too much into it because I want to save it for the review, but... One of my pet peeves is not having a converter. And number two, not a lot of bells and whistles. That might be refreshing for some. But this pen has not been in production for some time. I think maybe some literature or a booklet, pamphlet, something to celebrate its re-release would have been in order. But instead, you just get the box, the pen, and that is all. So seems just a little bit unceremonious in my opinion. I think we could have used a little bit more. So there you have it, the Parker 51. Thanks again for watching. Love you guys. Be well, be safe.